you become anew, you become some, you know, something, somebody different than what you were when you arrived. And um, somebody that you actually end up being proud of by the time you graduate. Full name, Clifton Douglas Hayes, 916-1972, United States Marine Corps. Uh, I was a Lance Corporal. I served from 1992 to 1996. So since the Marine Corps was, you know, close to the Navy, um, I chose to enlist in the Marine Corps, kind of the, to honor my dad. The first few days, um, they're kind of calm. Um, not what you would expect, not some of the videos that you would see. Um, they do, uh, when you first get off the bus, a lot of screaming, yelling at you, drill instructor, you know, you're telling you to stay on the, uh, the yellow feet. There's yellow feet everywhere that you go when you first get there. Um, you know, within the first three days, you get your first haircut, which was uh, eye-opening because they don't leave much left when they get done. Um, you get some of your basic uniforms, um, you know, your shoes, uh, your boots. Um, and when I say shoes, I mean running shoes because you do a lot of running at Paris Island. So, uh, it's not until you actually get dropped to your platoon, um, and that's when you get faced with drill instructors in your face all the time. Uh, telling you to hurry up, um, hurry up, get out of the rack, get back in the rack, you did it too slow, uh, put on the wrong shoe, put on the wrong sock, you know. Um, they drill you pretty good from, you know, from day one. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very intense. I was a uh, accountant specialist for um, supply. So working in that kind of environment, um, you, as the years go by, you, you're probably only exercising once a week or a lot of your ground marines are exercising, you know, three to four days a week. So it's a lot different because I was attached to the air wing. Um, so for me, uh, what happened was um, we'd gotten a new captain in from Okinawa, Japan. He was used to running like crazy all the time. And he took us out one day, um, 12 miles out, 12 miles back. Well, a lot of us wasn't conditioned for that type of run. And um, I made it out. I made it about two miles on the way back. And um, didn't remember anything after that. I woke up in the hospital. Um, I had ruptured the air sacs in the lower part of my lungs, um, breathing too heavily. Um, and uh, so, <clears throat> because of that, I was put on light duty. And uh, light duty in Marine Corps, they, it's never longer than 45 days. So every time my 45 days would come up, then I'd have to go back to running. And um, of course, when I'd go back to running, then I'd, the blood started coming back up. So um, for me, it was very difficult because I didn't want to leave. But at the same time, I had a lieutenant commander let me know that 45 days just wasn't enough for my body to heal. And it was in my best interest to take the medical discharge, go home, and heal. So um, I didn't take his advice the first time. And the second time that it happened to me, um, I ended up in Portsmouth Naval Hospital. Um, they were checking me out and everything. And then after that, the next time I saw him, um, saw him, that's when I decided to take the discharge. So um, it was, you know, for me it was difficult because it's not what I wanted. Um, I wanted to 
make a career out of it. My dad was, he spent 23 years in the Navy. And um, I always thought, well, I could be just, just as tough, if not tougher. I could probably do, uh, you know, 25. And um, unfortunately, it just, it just wasn't in the cards for me. And so I ended up having to come home. And um, it was different. It, um, I, I, you know, um, when you're in the Marine Corps and you have a Pacific MOS, a Pacific job, you, you know, you go and you do it. Um, civilian world is a lot different. Um, you know, there's a lot more, um, I don't know, I don't even know how to word it. Um, a lot of wasted time. And uh, I just wasn't used to that. So um, for me coming home and taking my first job, it was difficult because people would go take breaks, you know, outside of a break, you know, you typically get two breaks in a given shift. You'd have people that would take breaks outside of that or take longer than that. And you just, you just didn't do things like that in the Marine Corps. I mean, you, you had a job to do and you did it until it was done. And you know, then you, you know, you got to go back to the barracks. Um, it's, so it's, it was a lot of, a lot of adjusting, a lot of having to get used to.